Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to show you a little do-it-yourself project that uh, uh, we did because my son plays a lot of video games. We didn't have a really big space where we wanted to put in you know, a massive TV or, or that sort of thing to play video games or have a movie room or, or that sort of thing. So we wanted to create a, kind of a, a space for him when he comes home from school before he has to do his schoolwork things like that where he can play a few video games, kind of uh, decompress over the stressfulness of school. And so here's what we did. So we really had this kind of old bed. This is like a, just a kind of four post bed uh, made of aluminum. So it's, it's kind of a cheap bed. Um, and so we had that and, uh, and so we wanted to make it so that he could close it off. And uh, basically he could have pretty much like a blackout type uh, situation inside his bed. So if he wanted to watch TV, he wanted to watch a movie, wanted to play video games, he had, he'd have that capability of doing that. So Holly made these but I'm sure you could buy much nicer. Um, but she made these. Um, that was her part of the do-it-yourself thing is, was to really sew these things together um, so it would be completely blacked out. And we actually had, these are just cheap drapes from like Walmart. So you can, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a budget-friendly type thing. So once you get in, and I've opened this all the way up, there's a couple things. One is we didn't want to, like I said, have a gigantic TV um, and where it was going to be, you know, take up a bunch of room and things like that. And so we had a projector, uh, so we mounted in one of our old projectors to the wall because it works great for video games. I'll put a link in the description below uh, to the mount that we used as well as the projector that we have in the wall. Um, it's an older one though. Um, so we took that, we mounted it to the wall. Um, we know there's outlets down here for plugging things in. So that was the other thing. We didn't want to have this to, to move cords across the bottom of the bed or even under the bed uh, for the TV. Um, and so we took the projector and mounted it to the wall. His video game unit's on the floor under his bed so he can, you know, flip on his Xbox and start playing video games. Um, and so we did that. So that's really not the, the do-it-yourself part of it that makes this really cool. What makes it cool is... Okay, so on the other side what we did is we basically got an old school blind, pull-down blind, blackout blind if you, if you will, from Home Depot. And uh, we cut it to fit, so it would fit between the, the post bed and things like that. And basically, just like you would mount to put a blind in a window, uh, we mounted it to the bed. Okay, so here's how I mounted the roller blind that we got from Home Depot. Again, it's, it's a cheap blind, so it's not, not something expensive. And basically, I drilled small little holes into the aluminum, and I mounted it just like you would mount anything else into the side of aluminum. So it's very secure. It's very secure on there. Um, and if he wanted to, he could actually put it up and down just like a normal blind that you would have in a window, right? So he could do that, put it up and down, and then all you would see, because this, there's a black thing just like this on the back side, you wouldn't see it from the front at all. You could open this whole thing up, you could still have your four post bed, it could still be beautiful. You don't see this on, except for on the inside, which isn't a big deal. This screen really works great as just like a movie screen. Um, it's pretty flat, it's pretty... It, it just has a really good picture to it, things like that. So now, when he gets home, he can pull his, his drapes to the side to black out his room. He can turn on his video game. And this basically acts as what you would see is probably better than, what is it, an 80 inch? Like an 80 inch screen or so in front of him that he can sit and play video games. The sound is coming from the projector, which is right behind him. He can sit in his bed and play his games. Um, or watch TV. Okay, so we gave our son a place where he wasn't monopolizing our main TV upstairs, playing his video games and yelling at his friends about his video games. Um, so he has his own space uh, to do that. And really, it's just it's a nice thing to, to kind of have as a do-it-yourself kind of project. And you don't have to do the, the screen thing. You can do something else for it or whatever. But um, for us, this really worked out extremely well. And it, it has a lot of uh, flexibility. Movies, um, games... So let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. We'll put a post in the link uh, in, the, in the description below to the things that we use for this. Um, and uh, that's it. We'll subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.